Let's take a look at using multiple bump maps on one surface. I've got this model of a shell and what we'll do is we'll apply a few different bump maps to it but we'll keep it with only one surface. So um, one way I can go about doing that is to use weight maps. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to weight shade and let's make our first weight map. So new and we'll call this belly. I'm going to have initial value unchecked so that it doesn't put any value on the, the points. So create. And now I'm going to select some of the polys that make up the belly. So I'll do something like this. I'll deselect a couple of the polygons here. Okay, only the ones that I want. Okay, and that'll work. And now let's give it a weight map value. So map, set, set map value, and I'll do 100% and we'll deselect, make a new weight map, and I'll call this trim, create, and now I'm just going to grab on select loop, expand my selection, and that looks like a good selection. We'll set map value 100%, enter, deselect, and let's make one more. New, and we'll call this shell. This will be like the back part of the shell. And no initial value. Create. And let's just select these polygons right here. And I'm going to expand selection. Let's do it to about right there. That'll work. And actually, you know what? We'll just expand it some more. We'll have it bleed into here a little bit. And that way the bump can, uh, the different bumps can bleed together, uh, which is one benefit of using one surface with mu multiple bump maps. So I'm going to go ahead and set map value 100%. And there we go. So with that done, we've got our shell weight map. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got our belly weight map. And we've got our trim weight map. I'll save that, send it over to layout, shift C for camera, T for move, six for camera view, and let's just kind of position our camera, get a good shot of this. Something like that. Okay, and we'll open up our surface editor. Go over, we only have one surface. I'm gonna turn smoothing on. That'll look much better. And why don't we go ahead and open up a instance of F prime so that we can just check this out as we as we go. Okay, so we'll use this uh, to make sure that we're heading in the right direction. So I'm going to activate the node editor, open it up, and let me move over this window just so we can make sure we can see both. That way we can kind of compare as we go. Okay, so first thing we need to do is add some kind of bump map. So I'm going to head over to Add Node, 3D Textures, and let's try Crumple. We'll use Crumple. I usually grab Turbulence, so we'll start with something different, Crumple. Uh, we'll plug that into Bump, and we can see that it's putting Bump over the entire surface. It's kind of big, so I'm going to size that down. 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Now when I'm typing in these values, I'm really just randomly typing in a number. I thought it was too big, so I went with a lower number, and then I can shrink it down if I, if I think. But because I can get instant feedback, I can see, yep, that looks nice. But instead of having it over the entire object, I want to limit it just to this trim right here. I think that would be a good bump for this trim. So I'm going to take advantage of that weight map that we made over in add node, vertex map, weight, double click, and we'll choose for weight map, we'll, we'll choose trim, close that down. Now, instead of um, linking it to opacity, we're going to link it to bump amp. That threw me off whenever I first uh, got started. I, I thought, well, I'll change the opacity of that texture, but it's actually the bump amplitude, the amount of bump that you want to use for this surface. So there we go. We've got this nice bump just on that trim. So I'm using that weight map kind of to mask it off. Okay. So if I want to, I can add another set uh, of bump. And if, uh, if I wanted to, I could use the add. If I went to add node math vector add, and I could plug this into B and another one into A and the result into here. But actually we can bypass all of that just by going, let's add, uh, let's do veins. Okay. 
And instead of using that add node, I'm just going to plug the bump into the bump, feed it through here. And you can still see the crumple texture just where uh, the weight map is telling it to be. But then the veins is everywhere because we haven't limited it yet. But first, I need to size it down. That's not looking all that, that great. So I'm going to size this down, scale 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Um, yep, that'll work. Um, and I'm also going to change the width. Let's change that a little lower. 25, uh, yeah, that looks much nicer. And then for contrast, I'll do 50% for contrast. Okay, and for bump amplitude, let's use a, a weight map to drive that one as well. So I'm done with this. I'm going to close that up, make a little more room for, for us to work with. And we'll go over to add node, vertex map, weight map, double click. And for weight map, let's choose, I think that would be a good surface for the shell. So we choose the shell weight map and the value goes into bump amplitude. Okay, so we're just placing it where the shell is, but it's not showing up here. Okay, so we get a nice transition because of the weight map. If we use two different surfaces, we would get a hard line between the two, but because we're using a weight map on one surface, we're getting a nice transition between the two bumps, uh, which is a, a pretty good use of, of weight maps for that. Okay, let's add one more. So I'm gonna go to 3D textures, and why not turbulence? I love turbulence. We can use that for a lot of different things. Okay, I'm just going to slide this over. And let's plug that into bump to bump. Okay. And we're not really seeing much because we need to size it down. It's pretty big. And let's try 0.25. And let's do 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay. And we're kind of seeing it. It's all over the place, but I'm going to make this even smaller. 0.025. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's going to look nice. It's going to give us some streaks down the front and some nice uh, ridges along the side, which is going to be good. Let me slide this over so you can see. There's the, the streaks down the front, some ridges on the side. I like that. Now, if you look, we're also getting it everywhere. So if we wanted to, this is an example of, of placing a... Uh, a bump texture on the entire surface and then mixing it with some that are limited but we're gonna go ahead and limit this one as well just so we can see that in action so add node vertex map weight map double click for weight map we'll choose belly plug that into bump amplitude and now we'll see that that texture is only here again because of the weight map it's bleeding nicely into this crumple texture, which then bleeds nicely into the shell texture. So here's an example of using multiple bumps on one surface. I'm gonna zoom out just a bit so that we can fit this whole flow. If I want, I can always reposition this stuff. Okay, if I know that I'm done, I can zoom back in, close that down, close that down. And it allows me to keep this a little bit cleaner. Okay, just clean that up. I might decide to select all of those just by left clicking and dragging and move them down if I plan on putting some color nodes in there. Okay, so here we go. Multiple bump maps on one surface.